G'day, today on the bench we've got a Polar T1200. Now if you're interested in curve traces, you might want to consider subscribing because I've got this coming in the mail. When it turns up, I'll be doing a video on it. Alright, back to the Polar unit. So here I've got two NPN transistors, and we're going to compare them. So I'm going to select NPN, and then channel A and B. You can see the unit switching between the two transistors. The purple trace here is the collector emitter sweep, while the yellow trace is the staircase on the base. This is then displayed in XY mode on the display. Here I've got a 15 volt Xana diode. When I select the 10 volts per division range and we have a look at the display, we can count one and a half divisions. You can test many different types of components, including capacitors. Typically capacitors show up as a circle. A short circuit on the device under test would show up as a vertical line. We have the ability to test and compare NPN, PNP, N channel FETs, P channel FETs, and have a low and high setting for component testing. Here's an example how you could use it for component testing comparing two different component signatures. You can hear the relay clicking between A and B. This is the stimulus signal for component testing. This is the low level, and this is the high level, with a much higher voltage but lower current. Let's take a look inside. Now if you're working on things with CRTs, be very careful. There's high voltages inside which can be present even after it's been unplugged for a while. These two controls control the overall gain of the horizontal and vertical amplifier. This control is for the amplitude of the staircase. This is the Y-Trace rotation control. These units are getting a little bit harder to find and expensive. The good news is you can build something similar yourself. Sure, it doesn't have the transistor curve tracer in it, but this is an awesome little component tester. The schematics for this can be found on Mr. Carlson's lab. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and give it a big thumbs up. Until next time, catch you later.